Well, welcome to the ITU's headquarters here in Geneva. It's day three and, of course, the final day as we look at what's been achieved and what people will be taking back with them for future goals. And I'm happy to have with me another of the senior researchers from Facebook who've come here. It's Antoine Bordes. So, tell me, Antoine, why have you come to the AI for Good Global Summit? Yeah, uh, thank you for welcoming me. The, um, Facebook is investing a lot in AI and especially in open research for AI. We do a lot of research with the academic community, but also with some partners. And it's very important for us to participate in all the discussion in the three days to try to shape up where AI is going and how we could do AI for good. And from Facebook's point of view, where is AI going from here? So, um, I mean, it's, uh, this, is the, this is the big question. This is the question that comes up in all the sessions. That's very interesting to hear people actually try to shape up what's, what's going to happen. Uh, I think for Facebook, what's more important is like to try to get a better understanding at content, better understanding at uh, what the text means, what an image means, what a video means, so that basically it's easier for Facebook to actually share it with the right person at the right time, uh, and also being able to, uh, to interpret the content better. That's, that's the key motivation. Now, um, Facebook, on a regular basis, faces issues about data and privacy, and that's been a big subject here. So where does Facebook stand on that? Yeah, so in terms of AI research, actually, our stand has been to be completely open and transparent. In the sense that our, our lab, Facebook AI Research, publishes all its results in a journal or peer-reviewed conference and open source almost all of its code. So we, we don't try to hide any secret plan behind closed doors. Uh, we try to be as much open and engage with the academic community to uh, build uh, new AI tools all together. What about private data? P you, you, you know, your clients' data? Yeah. So that's, uh, of course, that's one of uh, Facebook's big resources. Uh, but I would say this is not what's driving most of our AI research right now. Um, because, and not even at the AI research lab where I'm from, because we are open. Of course, we use it for our products. But I would say it's, uh, it's a different stage. Here, we're about to talk about where AI is going, where AI is going in the future. And I would say the data at Facebook is more used the product today, uh, using basically the advances that we do. So finally, you're based in New York. Ha has this trip been worth it? Yeah, yeah, no, it's great. I mean, um, um, yeah, I I'm, I'm learning a lot actually about how uh, AI is perceived by other actors. Like, uh, I was at the Smart City breakout yesterday, and I learned a lot about how pe people like ruling cities and try to uh, decide for what the city are going to be in 15, 20 years, and how AI is going to shape up this. It's not exactly the way I'm seeing AI in my day-to-day -day life at Facebook and the lab, and it's super interesting to basically be able to share this perspective. Okay, well, great, Antoine. Thanks very much for your insight. Thank you. That's Antoine Bordes from Facebook, who's come here to see how AI could change and what Facebook's role will be with that, of course, in the future. Thank you again. Thank you.